we got some big stuff happening with the Fannie Willis case because now the Department of Justice has found out there's a lot of inconsistencies in Fulton County District Attorney Fannie Willis because a lot of that federal grant money, well, um, a lot of inconsistencies. That's how I could tell you. Many of the grant money is being used for other things and a lot of the numbers are not adding up. And the Department of Justice is saying during our review of the award to responses inquiry, we have noticed inconsistencies in what Fulton County has reported and they're working with them to update their reporting accordingly. Many people have been saying for weeks on X that Fannie Willis misused and even misplaced $700,000 worth of money from Fulton County. There's a lot of really suspicious stuff like Nathan Wade having an incredibly high salary, whereas other guys in her department do not. There's also a lot of talks about vacations with Nathan Wade, the affair, and a lot of money that's involved. So if you ask me, this is very, very suspicious. This almost feels like some sort of money situation plus corruption. Doesn't look good for Wills at all. In fact, just this single report, many people on X are saying Fannie Willis should have easily been kicked out. If Willis was just some regular woman, she would have been behind bars. Now look at this, Department of Justice says that a lot of inconsistencies, for example, Willis previously fired the whistleblower who alleged that the Fulton County office mishandled almost half a million dollars of federal grant money. And it's to pay for swag, computers, and travel, which actually lines up pretty well considering the travel because there was a lot of traveling and wine tasting between uh, Fannie Willis and also Nathan Wade. That was actually in the very beginning of this whole court fiasco. So this looks very bad in terms of Fannie Willis, especially with elections coming up for the Fulton County District Attorney spots. I don't really think Fannie Willis is winning that. The chances of her losing that is very, very big. And even right now, she's trying to sell merch. So I don't know what in the world is going on. Not a lot of people are supporting Fannie Willis. People are actually against her. And the mere fact that what happened to $500,000 is very, very sus. This is a lot of money. We're not talking about a few hundred bucks. We're talking about half a million dollars that's used for computers, travel, and swag. Really doesn't make any sense. Computers, sure, maybe a few thousand dollars. Travel, maybe an Uber and a hotel. But half a million dollars is a very, very high amount of money. And when you also look into this, you also have Fannie Willis already committing a felony with the Maryland wiretap laws. So wiretap is illegal in Maryland unless you have a warrant or you're cooperating with the police. But Harrison Floyd is saying that Fannie Willis illegally recorded a phone call between herself and one of Donald Trump's lawyers. This is a straight felony and Harrison Floyd has already filed all the paperwork for this and we don't really know if Fannie Willis will be trialed for these crimes. And then lastly, which is a little bit odd, text messages from the district attorney Willis' office show investigator is uh, hitting and approaching on a witness. Now these are text messages submitted and it seems like you know text messages say hit me up later if you're bored, we're not gonna talk shop. And it seems to be there's going to be some dates involved. So what in the world is Fannie Willis doing? Seems to be multiple love affairs happening in this whole situation. But at the end of the day, it just doesn't look great for Fannie Willis. One, a felony with the Maryland wiretap laws. And then two, you have the Department of Justice. The big guys are coming out saying a lot of inconsistencies in funds. And also the whistleblower that got fired is now coming out half a million dollars is somewhat missing and being used for really odd items and travel expenses. So Fannie Willis is not looking good at all right now. Seems like she may be going down, but let's see what happens. The Trump situation, the trials, it's all still going on and it's super interesting right now. See you guys later.